So if you remember when Donald Trump won in 2016, the entire media went into a meltdown. Not just the media, not just like the strong giants in the media, but also people on TikTok, people on Facebook who were crying and saying, you know, Trump is going to ruin the whole of America. Well, that is the case now with the new Argentine president, Javier or Javier Milay. Hopefully I did not ruin that name. But today we're going to be checking out media goes into meltdown over his election victory. Let's get to it. Yes, this week in the space of a few days, we saw the triumph of the Argentinian Trump, Javier Millet, and mm -hmm. then the Dutch Trump, Hurt Wilders. The anti-EU right-wing populist Wilders Freedom Party won the most seats in the Dutch general election. More on that with Ralph. But the pro-freedom celebration started in Argentina this week with the landslide victory of Javier Millet. This came after years of far-left Peronist rule which has plunged the country into crisis with the inflation rate hitting 143% earlier this month. Argentina has gone from a wealthy nation with an enviable standard of living to one destroyed by socialist lunacy. That's why firebrand Javier Millet, a conservative and libertarian, a vehemently anti-socialist, anti-woke outsider, won the presidential election in a landslide. It wasn't close, folks. Not close at all. Because <laughs> no the thing is, people are tired. People just want... That's the thing. When people are suffering so much, people are hurting so much, they just want the next change. Like any other thing that comes that seems like it's going to take them to a different direction, they want that. This is not even a thing of liberal, conservative, not even politics. It is just human nature. You're suffering. I'm squeezing you to the wall. You're just going to look for an escape. And Javier Millet came as an escape and the people took it. Now, the world's media went into a predictable meltdown, similar to when Italy's uh, centre-right Georgia Maloney was elected Prime Minister last year. But the election results show Argentinians, including young Argentinians importantly, have finally woken up to the lunacy of watching close to half the population live in poverty, despite being blessed with abundant natural resources. Argentina is blessed with natural resources. Javier Millet is no milquetoast politician. He is a proud outsider who has been clear in his desire to tackle the bloated bureaucracy that has so poorly served the country. One of his campaign pledges was closing the central bank and this weekend he confirmed that was an absolute non-negotiable. So let's have a look at what the rest of the bureaucracy can look forward to under Millet. Okay, I saw this clip, Aquila, everything, all the ministries, Aquila. <laughs> I love this guy, the way he talks. Now, I don't understand the language, but the translation and just the, the expression on his face is like, yeah. Aquila. <laughs> Ministry of Women. Genders and diversity. You see all of these things. I'm not saying they are bad things, but also the funding going towards this thing. What if it was put into actually, you know, giving these women a job or something that actually enhances? People are going to criticize me for this, but a lot of this bureaucracy does not make sense. Bottom line. Aquila. <laughs> Even if you resist, it <laughs> wasn't down there. <laughs> there was more. But Millet understands well that the ideological battle in Argentina and the West is not limited to economic policy. He understands the left's march through the institutions, the anti-West dogma and the tactics they employ to destroy their opponents. Al surdo no le podés dar ni un Puede definir zurdo de no Todos los que, digamos, los colectivistas, <risa> los que ponen, digamos, o sea, esa idea. A ver, ¿Qué, ¿qué le pones de mi Porque son una O sea, vos me sí. estás... No, pero, pero es que si de pensás... De... Pero no, pero digo... ¿Qué es la palabra que estás Pensá distinto, te van, a, te van a aniquilar. Ese es el punto. Es decir, vos al zurdo no le podés dar un Porque le das un milímetro y lo tomas para destrozarte. 
Es decir, usa Dios. O sea, vos no podés negociar con el zurdo. No se negocia. No se negocia con esa mierda. No se negocia porque te van a llevar puesto. You know, he's more Fantastic. passionate. I just wish he just had a bit more energy about him. That's an interview he gave before the election where he also spoke about how the left used the power of the state to crush their political ad adversaries. I don't know if he's talking about America or Argentina there, James. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. <laughs> Como los estamos aplastando en la batalla cultural, los estamos pasando de arriba, porque no solo le ganamos en lo productivo, somos superiores moralmente, somos superiores estéticamente, somos mejores en todo. Y les duele, les duele. Entonces, como no pueden pelear con las herramientas legítimas, se, ap se apalancan en el aparato represivo del Estado, poniendo torres de guita para hacernos mierda. Y aún así no pueden. <laughs> He's so passionate with his speech. <laughs> they can't beat us with real arguments. They use the repressive apart apparatus Appar of the state to destroy apparatus. us. Apparatus is a big word. Apparatus is good. Yep, he's not just talking about Argentina there. You can see that happening in many parts of the West. <laughs> like which country? ¿Qué locura estamos viviendo? La locura de la corrección política estúpida, donde básicamente, no, si ustedes no recitan el socialismo cool, si ustedes no son walk, entonces son violentos. Son un peligro para la democracia. Vamos, muchacho. Muchacho. Honestly, I see why they call him um, the Argentine Trump. He has the hair and the mouths too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be disrespectful here. I'm just observing. Um, we'll see in the fullness of time whether he delivers on the uh, comprehensive reforms right. he has uh, promised yeah. or whether the apparatus of the state frustrates his agenda. But it would be folly to dismiss Millet as just some extreme far-right snake oil salesman as The Guardian has. They're really not coping too well with him <laughs> this week at all. Now, Javier Millet may be colourful, but he's also a man of deep conviction with an impressive command of language. Just look at this. Van a tener que vivir como viven los argentinos de bien. Se les acabó los privilegios. Se acabó la joda. Yo no vine acá a guiar corderos, vine a despertar leones y están despertando, están despertando y se van a comer crudo a los políticos chorros, se van a comer crudo a los empresarios prebendarios, se van a comer crudo a los sindicalistas que entregan a la gente, se van a comer crudo a los medios de comunicación que fueron funcionales a todos estos chorros para mantener este curro. I did not come here to guide lambs, lambs I came to, to awaken wake lions. lions. He yeah, went on I like to say it. the Argentinian people are waking up and choosing liberty over slavery. As I said, time will tell if he delivers on his bold agenda, but it's worth noting the unhinged media coverage he has attracted, like Trump before him, and like Trump before him, despite being falsely labelled a fascist and a Nazi, Mille is ardently pro-Israel and plans to move Argentina's embassy to Jerusalem. There he is waving the Israeli flag just a few days before the election. Argentina is another example of what happens when a country embraces far-left lunacy. Finally, here is a Karma Millet in an interview a few months ago warning the West about what not to do and how you can fight back que nunca abracen las ideas del socialismo, que nunca se dejen seducir por el canto de las sirenas de la justicia social, que no se dejen atrapar por esa frase nefasta que donde hay una ansiedad nace un derecho, pero que eso no se hace solo. Para eso hay que estar preparado y hay que dar la batalla cultural día a día. Y que hay que tener cuidado porque ellos no tienen problema en meterse adentro del Estado y aplicar las técnicas de Gramsci, seduciendo a artistas, seduciendo, o sea, la cultura, seduciendo a los medios de comunicación, eh, o metiéndose en los contenidos de la educación. Hay que tener mucho cuidado, hay que cortarles el financiamiento y hay que com hacerlos competir a la par. <laughs> ok, that's it for that one. Anyways, let me know what you think of Javier Millet. Do you think he's going to do a good job? I feel like the first good job he's already done, 
that the people might appreciate would be communicating. The thing a lot of leaders or world leaders don't acknowledge is communication is very vital. We've moved past the time where you come and sugarcoat things or cloak information in a speech scripted by somebody else and you haven't even read it. You just come and watch the teleprompter and start reading a, a speech that all the information people really need has been cloaked inside. People want you to tell them, is the world coming to an end tomorrow? Tell us. <laughs> Are we going to be broke for the next two years? Tell us, how do we fix this? People want to hear the real information now. And I feel like that's why people are navigating to, you know, leaders like this or more to the conservative side. Not like conservatives don't cloak information, but they are more vo verbal. You know, they provide a lot more information, which it might be a tiny bit more than what the other side, the left wing does. But people still appreciate that. Anyways, let me know what you think about Avia Milei. If there's anything you want to add, correct or critic in the video, or you just want to share your opinion. I mean, everything said in the video is not like the truth or something everybody must acknowledge. It's just a discussion, right? So if you have something you want to say or you want to add, feel free to do so. That being said, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.